In 1886, Antonio Monteleone established a remarkable 64-room hotel on the corner of Royal and Iberville in the enchanting city of New Orleans, Louisiana. Recognizing an opportunity for expansion, Monteleone acquired the adjacent commercial hotel, further enhancing his establishment's grandeur. By the 1920s, Hotel Monteleone had become renowned as one of the most exquisite destinations in the Crescent City. Distinguishing itself from other haunted accommodations in New Orleans, Hotel Monteleone embraces its paranormal reputation. The hotel's staff openly acknowledges the presence of supernatural activity and even shares an intriguing tale about one of their most popular spirits on their website. The prevailing ghostly presence believed to haunt Hotel Monteleone is that of a young boy named Maurice Begier. Maurice's parents, prominent socialites, frequently chose the hotel for their stays. Tragically, during one fateful evening in the late 19th century, Maurice fell gravely ill and suffered a seizure while staying in his room with his nanny. Regrettably, by the time Morris's parents returned from their night at the opera, he had succumbed to his illness, leaving behind a sorrowful memory. The 14th floor of the hotel is predominantly associated with Morris's spectral manifestations, although it is colloquially referred to as the 13th floor due to the superstitious omission of the number. Guests who have had the privilege, or misfortune, of staying on this floor have reported eerie encounters with Maurice. Some claim to have spotted his ghostly figure in the corridors or even within their locked rooms, where he seemingly roams. Startlingly, a few guests have described the sensation of a child jumping on their beds, only to find no visible presence upon investigation. One guest, shaken by the experience, hurriedly sought assistance at the front desk when she felt an uninvited presence climb into her bed and lie down next to her. Furthermore, the 14th floor often resonates with mysterious sounds, such as unexplained whispers and loud noises that disturb the tranquility of the night. Doors on this floor have been witnessed opening and closing autonomously, confounding both staff and visitors. I once spoke with a housekeeper who recounted her encounter in room 1420. After meticulously making the bed and completing her customary cleaning routine, she attempted to access the bathroom, only to find the door inexplicably stuck. Though not locked, it felt as if someone were holding it shut. Seeking assistance, she briefly stepped outside, only to return and find the bathroom door wide open, as if by an unseen force. In a chilling incident a few years ago, a guest awoke early one morning with plans to explore the sights of New Orleans. As she departed her room on the 14th floor, she was captivated by the sight of a young boy standing before her, dressed in antiquated clothing. Delighted by the child's appearance, she attempted to capture the moment with a photograph. However, upon reviewing the image, the boy had vanished, replaced by a disconcerting black shadow further down the hallway. The hotel staff preserves this enigmatic photograph and willingly shares it with those who express an interest. Hotel Monteleone stands as a testament to the allure of its historic legacy, proudly embracing its haunted reputation. With a captivating tale of Maurice Begier and numerous first-hand accounts of spectral encounters, this esteemed establishment continues to captivate guests seeking a truly unforgettable experience in the vibrant heart of New Orleans. Please like the video and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily ghost stories. You can find our Southern Ghost Stories books over at Amazon as well as Barnes & Noble.